Hello, I'm Matteo, the Chief Mobile Opinionist at the Tech Travel Geeks. And this is the Tech Travel Geeks video to show gameplay of our, one of our favourite games, Goat Simulator, on the Nokia 5.3. The Nokia 5.3 has a nice widescreen display, but Goat Simulator is not really optimised for that game. As you can see, we have banding on the left and the right side around the classic canonical 16 to 9 aspect ratio. What I'm going to do is play the classic Goat Simulator, the first one, on Goatville, and we'll have a bit of fun with this game and see how it plays on the Nokia 5.3. If you don't already, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube. We also have some gameplay videos of Call of Duty Mobile on this device, as well as its unboxing, first impressions, setup, sample videos, and soon a full review of the device. Now, Good Simulator is a game that was originally released on PC and has since made its way to mobile platforms. Uh, I'm quite fond of this game because it is just silly, and that's what's fun about it. Way, So I've made it to the Goat Castle. Proclaim yourself Queen of All Goats. Now... The idea is that you, as a goat, are simulating a, real a reality And as goats always do, they jump on trampolines and reach amazing heights. Let's have a look at this. So as you can see, the Nokia 5.3 is doing a good job of rendering the game and playing it. This game is now a few years old. Uh, I originally purchased and have been playing this on mobile phones since 2014. So, in 2014, I was playing this on the Samsung Galaxy S5. So, let's jump into the road. Whoops, I have been hit by a car. So, it's a sandbox game. You can pretty much do anything you want to in this environment, including knock down gates jump on to trampolines and empty swimming pools. And the gra graphics are really clear, the 720 screen of the Nokia 5.3 is doing a good job. Let's see how high I can get here. I think I already reached it. Whoa! Nah, missed. Let's go and create some proper havoc with our goat. We're going to climb the stairs as goats do. And then... Maybe it's easier to just trampoline across. Now one of the things that made this game so amusing to me is that in the game description they clearly said there are lots of bugs, they're only fixing the ones that cause crashes, the rest are staying. Such as the neck of this goat which is worryingly quite elastic whilst I go up the stairs. Also I've never seen goats climb ladders that way. Okay, almost there. Whoa! So yes, fantastic game. Very realistic. If you're looking for a simulator, I'd say this is the best simulator there is. And who wouldn't want to be a goat? Now let's see if we can find the, the jetpack. 
So I've got two of the 20 goat trophies. I've never actually collected them all. But I'm pretty sure there's a jetpack somewhere over here. Was it on the next roof level? Oh, this is a human being. Now, you can headbutt them as well as lick them. And I think licking them is the funniest thing. Hello, human. So it's a bit of a sort of frog-like tongue. Let's see if we can get anywhere with this human being on the back of the tongue. Or if we can get onto the roof from here. Whoop, missed. Still got a human stuck to me. Let's try without the human stuck to my tongue. It looks like the humans are afraid of the goat. I wonder why. Give it a few moments, and we'll get to the right altitude to jump straight on to the next level of the roof. Oh, missed. Oh, I fell all the way down. What a shame. Okay, then we'll need to try something else. Have you ever seen some Michael Bay explosions? Here we go. Oh. That was obviously not very good V-Power fuel. Michael Bay. Kaboom. So, word of warning, don't let goats loose in petrol filling stations, or gas stations as they call them in the US. Now, if you're a fan of the Tron movies, you might be asking yourself, what does this goat think of me and what I do playing this game? As the user, am I someone they respect? Oh wow, I've been shot out of bounds by an explosion of a car. Airtime easy. Oh, that goat is kind of flying. Yeah, it was. Oh, Stonehenge, or Goathenge, whoops. There's another statue. Let's take that. Unlocked Ripped Goat. Let's change goat then. So you can unlock lots of different types of goats. So, Classy Goat. Looks like a penguin. Egg Goat. Looks like a, an egg with legs. Goat Queen. That's from going up there. Goat with jetpack. Let's have a look at ripped goat. Whoa. I'll be back. Boom. Let's demolish Stonehenge with ripped goat. 62. Oh, I've managed to domino effect something here. So there you have it. This is, in essence, what Goat Simulator is all about. There's no real targets, there's a few challenges, but it's all about just running around, in this case, Goatville, and causing mayhem. So this was a quick walkthrough of Goat Simulator on the Nokia 5.3. If you have any comments and you'd like to leave us any feedback, or even if you have any questions, just leave us a comment in the section below this video. If you like the video, drop us a like. And as always, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube. We do enjoy, whoa, as well as create, causing mayhem with goats. We do enjoy making this sort of video for you. But for now, thank you for watching this gameplay video of Goat Simulator, and goodbye from me.